Bata, Kitcha Gaming, Mashkuli, my name, Barry Mojan Som, Onja Homasom, Arika, Norway, Itao, Spata, Pakistan. Today we are in Kaka Village, 22 August. There is a festival, Uchao Festival, Anthem Festival, which is coming up. And we have a guest from Norway, Arika. We would like to take comments from Arika. Uh, she is in Kalash Valleys and how she would like to comment about the Kalash culture, Kalash people. Now the government did a lot of projects for Kalash community and Chitral as well. So we would like to talk with uh, Arika. Views about the people, the culture, the valley and natural beauty, please. Okay, so I just came yesterday and I would say this is a very special place. And uh, the dresses are so beautiful, the people here are so friendly. And I'm, well, by education, I'm a social anthropologist. So for me, it's very nice to see that this special culture is preserved here in the Kalash Valley and that it is so alive. And the people here, they seem so cheerful and so happy. So it's a pleasure to be here. Arika, I'm uh, really very interested when you uh, talked about your social anthropologist. And, and always Kalash culture, Kalash people are fascination for the uh, people who are doing uh, research on social anthropology, ethnology or archaeology. You, you studied social anthropology and how would you like to comment about the uh, living style of the people and, and their beautiful culture? So now that they, they have uh, indigenous people. So, and for an anthropologist, it, they usually stay one place for one year to do research. So I think one day is not enough. But actually when I came here I was thinking, oh, maybe I should come here and do my PhD <laughs> to study this culture because it seems like a very, very interesting culture and it would be very interesting to find out more about their beliefs and the history of this culture. And I was in the museum today and I saw that uh, in the museum there are these photos from the Norwegian linguist Georg Morgensjane. 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 And so there has been Norwegian researchers here before, and maybe they should come back. Erika, I would like to tell you, uh, UNESCO and Norwegian ambassador did an uh, exhibition of Morgenstein uh, written materials, uh, also the images, because this were, I think, 1928, 29, something like this. Uh, very old pictures for us, and you can see in the museum, there is the gallery for uh, this author, uh, they, they donated these pictures to the museum. So it's really, there is connection between Norway and uh, Kalash Valley. They are interested. In the past they did research and now we are looking forward to welcome you for your PhD thesis in, on Kalash community. So it will be very interesting for us. Yeah, thank Isn't you. It? And I will tell my anthropology friends to come here and do some research. I think that would be interesting. What would you like to tell the national and international tourists? Should they come? And how long you were staying in the Kalash Village? Will you, you be here for the festival? Unfortunately, I'm leaving on the 22nd. But actually, I'm lucky because I didn't know there was a festival when I came here. So I'm very lucky to see the preparations. But on 22 daytime, there is a festival in Rukmu Valley. If you want, you can join them. Uh, for the festival? Yeah, for the daytime, yes, I will. Say that they should absolutely come to the Kalash Valley. It's a very special place in Pakistan. And I would, like in general, recommend people to come to Pakistan. It's such an interesting country with so many different people, so many different religions, um, beliefs, I would say, so many different languages, so many different people. So there is so much to explore. And then you have the natural beauty. But I would say this is the highlight. Thank you so much, Erika. It was a really pleasure for us and we are very happy to talk to you about different different things and Norway and Pakistan and Kalash culture. It was a pleasure for us. 